Let's go to Matthew chapter 12, verses 35 through 36. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. A good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things. And an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. I know that many of us have heard, and you may be one of those people. I continue to hear that God knows my heart. And from what this scripture is saying here, yes, God does know your heart. He knows that you have a very evil heart. If you continue to say that God knows your heart and use that as an excuse to sin, it does not fit. Because as you can see here, if you have a good heart, good things, you are going to bring forth good qualities. If you have an evil heart, you are going to bring forth evil things. So you can't use God knows my heart as an excuse to continue to sin because it does not fit. A person who is following, who is truly following God's rules and regulations is going to have a good heart. A person who loves to sin or use excuses to continue to sin has an evil heart. It does not matter if you never have murdered a person or fought a person. If you are choosing to disobey God, you have an evil heart. I know that you don't like to hear this, but hey, I don't have a huge church depending on your money. <laughs> Let's go to verse 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So people who believe that little white lies does not matter or I told this lie to protect you. Foolish things like that, lying for any reason. Let me say this too. I have to be careful of the jokes I make too. Sometimes I have to repent after making a joke. Sometimes I feel really bad after saying a joke. Not any sexual jokes and stuff like that. But even if it is teasing a person or something like that, I have to apologize when I say it. So we have to be careful of what we say, even with jokes, even if your jokes seem very harmless. I believe, well, it really depends on the person, really. But I believe that my jokes in most cases, I guess, if they are harmless but if a person takes it in another way I have to repent of it no questions asked so I pray that all of this makes sense so you can't say that God knows your heart this is why you are getting drunk you are getting high you are having sex before marriage you are stealing from people, you are doing other reckless things, you can't use that excuse that God knows your heart because he actually does. Your heart is evil. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.